I want to start off by saying, first of all, sorry about the dogs. We got a bunch of them around our neighborhood, and they bark a lot. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we are rebuilding our cemetery columns. The ones we had last time, last couple of years, eight foot tall, made out of masonite and two by twos, and well, they were heavy and took up a lot of room. Um, this year, we're rebuilding using the two inch foam board. Um, I cut them into 10 inch width, so we stack five. And we're going to start with just the base layer here. All right, from there, we're going to give it a nice, good coat of liquid nail. And then we're going to take our second layer and flip it over and center it in. Now, these aren't cut. Now these aren't cut perfectly straight on the edges. Um, I started trying to use a, what I normally use to say hacksaw blade. Um, decided to get the um, jigsaw out. Gave me a little bit cleaner cut, but I wanted to go back and clean this up a little bit. What I've done here though is I've cut a groove down on the inside of it. So I can take a piece of PVC pipe and lay it down inside here. Um, got some great stuff I'm going to put in here, get a nice, uh, give it a little fill in some of the gap a little bit and then drop our PVC pipe down in that way. When we put the rebar in the ground, we can just slide the rebar inside and it'll be inside the PVC pipe. That way wind blows or whatever over time, the rebar will not start eating away at the inside of our pipe. Now I do know that the Great Stuff cans have that new nice little handy dandy closable lid. Um, one thing you gotta remember though, I actually did open this can um, last weekend. So it's been about seven days. Still works, still comes out great. Don't forget though, you gotta shake that can up. Um, <laughs> I just learned that one. Um, but anyway, we got there. PVC pipe and laid in here. Um, be as generous as you can with the great stuff. Obviously, if you work with great stuff, you know it'll also help seal our foam together. So we're going to go ahead, put another layer of liquid nail, and go with the next layer. All right, this is our centerpiece, um, third, in the middle section of foam. Um, went from using the whole rail and rebar. Um, fence style uh, last couple years last year we did just change over to chain um, just seemed to be simpler less storage because um, my storage is very limited um, so what we did is we just started replacing with chain now I don't have access to my black chain and unfortunately Home Depot only had white so I did get me get some uh, Craylon black flat black spray paint um, Still got to hit it up a little bit. What I'm going to do here, though, is with the old columns, we were able to screw the chain into the column. Obviously, can't do that with the foam. So what I've done is I've made a little groove here, and we're just going to let the chain sit inside the groove. Now, I made the groove. The that way, it will help hold the chain in place. That way, um, won't be able to be yanked out. Um, people will grab chains, pull on it. They won't be able to just yank the chain out if I just stuck it in a little bit. Um, so we're gonna grate the stuff this in and put on the next layer. All right, so this is the second to last piece. Uh, I got my um, slot cut for my rebar or for my PVC pipe. Got the great stuff in here already. I'm letting this one set up just a little bit. You notice I got a couple slots cut into this one. Um, basically what we're doing here is when I lay this inside, the PVC pipe inside, I have a couple T-joints on here. Those T-joints will allow me to add a fence or a gate um, and I can just slide the PVC pipe in through the slot and into the T-joint to make the gate seem like it's actually part of the um, whole structure. Um, so in just a second after this sets up a little bit, I am going to set the PVC in there, glue this one up, and I'm going to um, clamp it down, let it sit for a day or two, let it all cure and, and get hard, um, let all the, the glue dry real good. Then I'm going to cut back with another with a saw and 
even the sides out a little bit and get it all ready for paint. Um, this is what it looks like pre-paint, obviously, and pre-cut. You can see the chain just kind of hangs out uh, real nice. And over here, you'll see the slots for the rebar pieces for the fence or for the gate. Um, we'll put a cap on the top and a border around the bottom. Um, the border on the bottom will probably be a piece of plywood with some uh, one by twos just to give it some structure on the bottom so it's not foam sitting right on the ground. Um, but that's what those are going to end up looking like. I am also going to use do the same with the short um, columns, the shorter columns. Um, they throw a piece together for that real quick to tag on to the end of this one. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Okay, so these are the two corner uh, pillars. They're, these are only four foot long. Um, all the, just the two big ones, the two main are six foot, um, six foot by 10 inches. All the shorter ones are all going to be um, four foot, six by six square. Um, just evens out that way. Obviously using a two inch foam board. Pretty well going the same, together the same way. Um, I am only using one piece of PVC pipe in the middle of these because they are smaller and lighter. These two are the corners. So my chain is a little different than what it, what the straight pieces, or the 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 non-corner pieces will be. Um, in order to keep the chain again to be able to keep it from being yanked out or anything like that, what I've done is I've kind of cut a couple grooves um, halfway in. Um, these are at three foot, three foot six inches. Um, this is just three inches in, and then I've used my hot knife and cut a couple holes into the outer side and just ran the chain through so when the chain gets put in it'll drop in from the outside drop into this groove and come straight out um, that way it'll keep it pretty secure in there so this is the almost completed uh, painting job um, these are the short pillars um, all just bricked out um, the tall ones I'm just doing little sections um, of the bricking uh, just simply because it's a lot of well they're six foot tall so it'd be a lot of extra work that I really don't feel like getting into um, they will be aged um, stained and so forth to uh, definitely make them look a little bit more a little older than what they are this is the final one here I uh, just got done painting the bricks on this I just used a uh, tape job um, I did use the duct tape version of the um, paint tape. Uh, it seemed to work better. I tried to use the Scotch brand, and it didn't really stick well to the dry lock. Um, so I don't know if there's probably, there may be another one out there, but I seem to be having the best luck with this as far as sticking goes. So once I get down to the aging on this and so forth, I will finish it up and talk to you shortly. And so to finally cap them off, um, what I've done here is um, I made just foam caps for each of them. And these are obviously the four or the six inch shorter columns. These are for the 10 inch. Um, real simple, all I did was took the two inch foam that I made the panels out of, cut them into a block. I cut them just a little over 11 inches. Um, then cut my 10 inch a little a little bit bigger than 10 inch on the inside so that way they would fit easily over top of the 10 inch pillars it still gave me about a half inch um, thickness and then i took a piece of half inch foam um, and cut it to size and glued it up and i'm just coating these in dry lock now and then they'll be um, ready for aging uh, and be done so, again, if you have any questions about anything I've done here, definitely feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have, and you uh, have enjoyed the day.